Hello, and welcome back to Let Supreme Goes the Dark mod. Today we are playing Talbot 2, which is and the second mission in the five mission series by Milan. Um, this is called Return to the City. So, you might remember we discovered in some of Milan's previous missions that Talbot is just an alias for Garrett. Um, and um, this is then the second mission where I have not played the first, Prowler in the Dark, I believe it's called, for Thief 1. Um, Bad Debts is Mission 4, Disorientation is Mission 5, and um, Mission 3 I'm planning on playing, that, that'll that be the next Dark Mod mission then, is um, um, Talbot 3 Fiasco at Fauchard Street, I believe it's called. Um, now, one thing I didn't say about Tears of St. Lucia, the last Dark Mart mission. When I summed up the mission, I said the only bust we took to Supreme was alerting the, the guards when we destroyed the statue. Of course, that wasn't true, because I also bought the map. But I did that uh, in addition, well, because I knew that the mission was already not going to be Supreme most of all. So I wouldn't have done that if not. Um, so just one correction there about uh, the summary of that mission. So anyway, let's go ahead and get going here. Um, new mission. Uh, it's just called Return to the City in the mission um, briefing. and, and uh, But if you download the mission, you can see here it's called... No, it's called Return to the City there too. But in the downloadable list, it's called Talbot 2. But it isn't actually referred to that anywhere else. Back among these old walls again, it seems, the alleyways and courts beckon, the smells and flickering lights the same as ever. Have I been away so little that I remember them all? No matter. This time my objective once more brings me to the builders. One of their workshops has recently received a shipment of potent explosives. Although inert before it's treated with a volatile compound, there is bound to be a mechanician who will pay a good price for the lot. That settled my agenda for the night. I must be careful, since the builders aren't known to be lenient with trespassers, and if they knew it was the same fellow who had already paid them a visit once, we better not dwell on trivialities. So I assume this pay them a visit is from the first mission in the series, then. I have found a way to the street where the storehouse is located, and hid myself next to the gate. If I'm unable to open it from the inside when I'm done, I may just have to find another way out. It is an hour before midnight. Time to go. There. So we, of course, will play an expert. Steal the explosives from the builder's storehouse. The builders will never allow another break-in, so better get what you can while you still have the op an opportunity. Uh, find 1500 loot. Better not linger too long when the deed is done. After you are finished with your other tasks, find a way out of the district. Bonus. Th to throw the builders off your trail, find some way to divert their attention. So when it says bonus, that means it's an optional objective. But for Supreme, we have to do that one as well. So all these objectives are mandatory for Supreme. And this mission can be uh, perfect Supreme Ghosted. You can get all the loot, and you can get a zero stealth score. It doesn't mean the mission is very, very easy, though. It's easier than Tears of St. Lucia, but it's, um, it's a different type of mission overall. Okay. Let's make a save. And look at the map. So, um, again, you can't point anywhere in the map, which I don't really like too much, but anyway... Um, you can see the gate in the very, very southern end. Um, we start in Little Alley, just up at the left of that. There is a shantry just across the street, which we cannot enter. We can just enter a little guard station just south of that. Um, there are several uh, buildings we can get into that. The Bronet's Mansion we cannot. But then you see the storehouse in the far northeast. That's where we are finding our main objective, and uh, we're going to leave towards the north quarter, 
uh, just north of the storehouse. There's also a cloister on the east side that we cannot get into. Um, but there are some of the buildings here we can get into. And it's it's a smaller map, but it's got quite a bit of detail. And this uh, mission is not just by Milan, it's by Milan and Biker Dude. I should give him credit as well, who made the training mission, which um, I really enjoy playing, so. Okay, I'm going to try not to use the um, stealth statistics as much. Compared to what I've done before. Let's see, I'm going to see if I can increase the game volume. Oh, that's pretty good. I think a total of three patrollers here. Yeah. And we have to head into that guard room right there. Okay. So in this guard room there are a couple of um, readables. Maynard, you taffer, take care to lock up the place before you venture out on your rounds. Better not let some lurking gutter snipe break in here. I believe I saw some suspicious guy loitering about during the day, but never quite caught sight of him clearly. I've got your winnings on the out, but you remember, promises of pig knuckles you'll buy me with, uh, with it are fair and square. So there's some prize in here, or some winnings. Benjamin, the blasted lever is stuck again. No way in and no way out until someone frees us on the morrow from outside. If you need someone help, uh, the cloister is the play to go. Place to go. Maynard. So I assume that means that the gate to lower market side in the uh, south here cannot be opened, at least not tonight. That uh, the lever is stuck. So here is the purse with the winnings, 40 in total. And then there were also five broadhead arrows here. And then we can head out. Let's just see where people are here. What? Well, that was pretty bad timing. Honest citizens and stout lawmen, be thou aware that a man of dark guile, sinister of intent and swift of limb, has recently entered our holy grounds, relieving the Lord Builder of objects sacred and precious. Item, this miscreant has also lifted a dark relic most potent, a skull of paganic enchantment. Let it be known that the Lord Builder will reward the child, and then I get attacked. Let me read the rest then. Will reward the child who brings more of this man, uh, uh, or the relic, as surely as he will smite who sins in his eyes by sheltering or uh, aiding him, Father Gilave. So that's one of the main guys over at um, the cloister. Okay. I'm going to head over here real quick. So this is then the 
Chantry. And you can head over across that rooftop there to an area closer to the cloister. We're not going to do that. We're going to come back this area. So we're going to head west now through a building here. here. There's a health potion and then there are two gold goblets, total 70. And um, there is also something underneath here. So we have to do some crate moving. Oh, Rick. We'll put him back afterwards. For Supreme you have to put back everything to the same location. You know, crates don't have to be put back perfectly, but Here, there's a treasure cache. Statue, one, two, three, four silver, two, three, four, five gold, and a ring. Total five, or 265. Um, this is just a sword, it isn't actually worth anything. Can't get anywhere else in here, so. Somebody said something outside, but I don't think don't think that meant anything. Let's see. Two and then There. There's a garden to the west. There is a patroller here, so we've got to be a little bit careful. So what I like to do, we can actually use rope arrows in this mission. close on their own. I did not know that. Okay. Well, that'll help us. Some kind of a roof or attic building here. This one I have to pick open. Gold plate worth 50. Total 315. Stop over there and go back. So I am going to Not in Tears of St. Lucia, you could walk on the clotheslines. You can't do that in this mission. You can walk across all the way here. This side there is a ring with 80. Total 395. You can draw 
up onto the tree here, actually. There. We are safe. I don't think there's anything else in this garden, but there's a hidden entrance to um, the building of uh, Lord Stikes. We're only going to head into the basement right now from here. Uh, because I don't want to pick a lock on the door that leads down to the basement from inside. It's a lot easier to come here. And out here there's also loot. Gold goblet. Uh, and a bottle of wine. Total 470. And then there's a readable. Basement note. Kind Master Sykes. Waited I, your humble servant, bins below your window, but no avail. Then came I here, awaited after knocking right, but came you not. Did I displease you? Was it not enough did I take? Here, a fine cup and a bottle from a dame's table, or bid you take more, I will. Saw I your maid guard a gossip also, tongue a wag, and spoke they of ridding you of your monies, from your monies, they did. Watch you, kind Master Sykes, and keep your humble servant. It is that I respectfully remain, Bins. Okay, I'm not going to keep that readable, but I'll leave it there. So somebody is bringing Master S or Lord Sykes gold to get on his good side, it seems. Okay. Now we can head into the basement. This is the door that was pickable that I don't want to pick. You have to pick one of these two, but uh, this one is obviously a lot easier. In the wine cellar here, there should be I think only one bottle of wine. Yep. And then over here, uh, Ambergline, levy paid. Lead ingots, levy paid. Glass slime, levy paid. And more Ambergline. And here is a weird statue with a skull on it. A gargoyle skull. And in here, this is just a machine room. There's nothing behind these boxes, although it might look like it. This is another door that we have to pick open. This leads into Sykes' study chamber. Here. Here's a painting. Worth 200, total 720. And there's also a couple of readables in here that are important. A letter. Most esteemed father, it has come to my attention that one Sergeant Myron, in service at the guard, has shared the opinion that the Lord Builder's house has been the victim of burglary at behest of merchants from the bazaars. If indeed they have commissioned that unhallowed relic stolen, might not an inquiry lead to its trail? I know little of such things, as an old man at the end of his years there is much idle talk about town that they take all manner of illicit goods with none looking over their activities. Yours, your faithful servant, uh, A. Sykes. Okay, that one we can put back. Okay, I picked up the chair there. And then there's another readable. Hastily written note. Randolph. No. You try that idiocy if it pleases your miserable neck to hang. Not one crate of goods goes anywhere until those holier-than-thou lackwits cease searching. It is, uh, it is enough that I have grotesque little idol in my cellar. Do you have an idea what Father Gilov, that puffed-up old rooster, would do to one caught with restricted items? Call off your men as well. No deliveries to my cash until this is over. S. So that is an important piece of information because it reveals that Sykes have stolen goods from the builders. So that one could come in use later, so we're going to keep that. And we're going to steal or rob Sykes's safe instead.
go. Alright, so in here there's a purse and a bunch of... Uh, no. Bunch of coin stacks. Uh, 880, that's what we should have. I don't think this is... Oh, no, it's readable. Uh, the Baronet. Upper class clientele. No known links to low court sources. Heavy guard. The Mausoleum. Looted resting place of overlord Pazar. Never occupied. Vagrants and thieves. Access to lower tombs blocked. Rose Garden. Hey, hey. We know that reference. So... I do think maybe that Rose Garden, and I think Marble Man pointed this out, Rose Garden is supposed to be a sequel then to Disorientation, a loose sequel. So maybe Rose Garden will be the sixth in the series. Old Lovers Hangout, now used by rogues. Meeting point, probably watched, abandoned, once prosperous. Who's? The Hollow Pits, the Walled Territory. Known leg breakers, too risky, no access. Old Priory, Builder Complex, now almost abandoned, potentially lucrative, theater nearby. Worth's residence. Minimal risk area. Guards underpaid and ill-organized. Note, secret chamber of previous occupant. Uh, Cater's well. Small bathhouse, poor elements, reputedly richer than seems. Golden figurines. Even tra estate. Nice reference to disorientation. Light guard. Minor collection of exotics. Rare books. A pleasant uh, conversant but more alert than expected. Okay. Nice little information there. So that is all we can do in the basement. Just to check here, yep. Yeah. Good. Now we're going to head up top again, and see if we can dodge this guard. First alert there. What on earth? I can't see any guards. Okay. We can actually climb up here. down this alley, I think. But over here, there's a piece of loot. A candlestick, worth 40, and then there's a gas arrow, which obviously is extremely useful if you're not ghosting, but... Let's wait for this guy. Oh, whoa! Where are we getting these alerts from? Well, there I saw the one guard at least.
there. And we got the loot that we needed. Let's see how much we have. 920? Yep. up here we're gonna have to just hide Make another real save. Now, if you saw a skip in the video there, I'm sure if you noticed it or not, I actually played ahead some, and then I accidentally turned off my mic, and I didn't have a real save, uh, so I had to replay the beginning of the mission. So when you see the time at the end, it might be a lot quicker than the video, because I sort of rushed it a little bit to get here. But... We don't have any alerts, so... <laughs> At least I don't think that we do. Nope. So we now are heading back to the market. here, because there's two diamonds. You can see the gargoyle up there. There are two diamonds in the eyes of that. There's a readable later that points to it. There. I wanted to take those five single coins in the one booth there, and then there's the rope arrow they don't see, they don't notice it. So yeah, the, the time, oh, the total time for the mission might be lower than what it maybe seems like it should be based on the, the playthrough so far, but anyway, nothing different happened. But here. Yep. Now there is a guard. there that can see us. You can actually get to this ledge from that parapet or that balcony too, but I'm not going to do that. So now we can get those. 1035. You can drop down here a little bit easier. We should be able to drop here and then land on that wooden wooden roof there without alerts, hopefully. I don't want that guy to come back out there, but we'll deal with him later too. What might that be? Yeah, there he heard that. I actually meant to land on the other roof there, not on Here too. I'm gonna pick the lock on this door. Okay. 
a little bit loud in here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm going to read this. Report in 11th of Orient. Transformer regular, dynamo regular, machine regular. Dials regular, slight jumps, liquid uh, tank regular, pipes regular. Also inspected lamp posts. No, nothing out of order. Even drinks with Clemens and Grime. Report in 12th of Orient. Transformer regular, dynamo regular, machine regular, dials regular. Liquid tank regular, pipes regular. Builders nabbed Randall, who was uh, hammering up the scaffolds, poor bugger. Said he stole from the church. Two builders entered here and searched all high and low, too. Report in 13th of Orients. Transformers regular, dynamo overheating. Machine regular, dials, dials regular, liquid tank regular, pipe stripping. Received work for, uh, department funds for the month. That will pay for fixing up that crap the builders tapped apart. Report in 14th of Orients. Power outage took down the grid and down lock and lower market side all night. Skip days uh, maintenance tasks to help out. And uh, the purse, or the money that they were looking for, is probably this. Worth 50 total, 1085. This door doesn't work. Check. Yep, we're all good here. Okay, now we're going to head into Sykes's Manor. Somebody, somebody heard it or saw me there? I'm not sure. Here's an open window. So we could have picked the lock on the door in the basement there. But I don't want to do that. Get an unnecessary lock pick there is not good. Instead we can move in here. Let's check. Oh, we did get an alert. I don't know who that was from, but I'm happy I realized it. <coughs> The rope arrow trajectory is a little bit different, I would say, than it was in Thief. getting the suspicion from. Lord Sykes is sleeping in the bed in there. Could it be him? So odd, I never got that before. Because I don't have any now. Okay, let's 
Let's go a little bit slower here, maybe, and... Here we should be good. Let's make another real save that. Goodness. Okay, so yeah. Lord Sykes is sleeping right there. So if you drop to the floor here, you're going to get the first alert. That's one that he doesn't actually utter, uh, even though it's the first alert and supreme busts. Um, those are not counted as busts because you might not detect it unless you have the, the stealth tool. But to avoid that, you have to go up, hug along the wall here, and then go straight onto the chair. And then you can get around and land on the carpet here. Goblet and a bottle of wine here. And as long as you just crouch creep in this room, you'll be fine. Here we have three stacks of silver coins, one of gold, and then a gold candlestick up here, total 12.35. Just check it. That wasn't right. Check it again for good measure. Yeah, okay. And there's a letter we gotta read. Woolsey, make sure that imbecile Bins does not gain access to the house now, or any time until I say otherwise. No ifs or buts. If he tries to crawl in, you throw him out, and if he gives you a bribe, help yourself to a bottle of my wine instead. We can't have him with his stolen knickknacks, not when the builders are, are scouring the neighborhood for their skull, uh, or while Father Giov perches in his quarters like a raven looking for eyes to pluck. Those are my orders. Either you obey or you are fired. Okay. And then over here... We have a trophy worth 175, total 1410 here. Okay, we're gonna head out into the hallway, and out here there is a guard, most likely. He sits on a couch here. No, he doesn't do that now. He goes down occasionally, and then comes back up. One time I played, he was only ever found in that couch. But the other time I played this mission, he went down occasionally. down. He goes into the kitchen. Which is over there. Through the door there. This is Lady Sykes, I assume. Or Mrs. Sykes. There's also a maid, and the maid only goes from the kitchen and out here. Stations herself behind the lady, and then goes back. There are two candlesticks on the mantelpiece, and then there's a necklace on the table next to her. That's not a problem, but the candlesticks are. So we're going to take those first. So we've got a mantle up here. And then I believe we have to drop into this area. And then mantle up here. I don't think we should get caught by that. Nope. There's the maid. So I'm not sure where that guy went now, but he should be... You can't go out this door. Maybe he goes down to the basement. I'm not sure. I've never seen him down there, but maybe he is. That's where he is. So if you go here, grab one candlestick, and the other. Both are worth 40. Total 1490. So there's the guard. quite uh, tense here. Three people looking at me and nobody can see me. I didn't actually know this guard went over here. <coughs> I didn't know that. Okay, now getting back is the issue. That's the biggest issue. 
Now, Marble Man in his ghost report said that he was able to jump from here. You have to crouch and do a running jump and mantle up the railing directly without making any noise. I have not been able to repeat that. Um, I have tried this jump probably 50 to 60 times and I've always made noise enough for her to hear it. I think even she does a second alert or alert two, which means that she stands up and looks around and it counts towards the stealth score, even a ghost bust. Um, but we can do this a different way. And the way I do it is by shooting a rope. If you shoot a rope into the white area... Oh, okay. If you shoot it into the white area up above there, then she doesn't hear it. If you shoot it in the brown area, far enough down, seems like it's close enough for her to hear or low enough for her to see the arrow, and she makes a, a remark. That doesn't count towards the self score, but it is a bust supreme. Um, just like detecting a door being open um, or something like that would be a bust because it's something that you can avoid. You should be able to avoid it for supreme. Man, these three here, they love to be in this room today. We just have to wait here. Boy, move it. Come on, lady, he ushered you along there. Let's get to work. There's um, the necklace on the table, and then there's a hilarious um, newspaper on the, on the table we have to read. Let me try this now. I think that maybe is a little bit too high up, because we need to be able to reach the arrow afterwards. Not sure if we can actually jump. Yeah, we can straight for the arrow. There. straight onto the carpet. That's how you do it. That's not actually, I would say, a better method. Not that I, my method is better than Marble Man's, but it's um, a method that's reliable. I sometimes click the wrong button. I click, because I've changed it to toggle crouch. I'm used to hold crouch, actually. We can hide. When you crouch, you can. I can't actually read anything. I've noticed. Um, I'm highlighting the newspaper right now, but even if I click it, I can't read it. It's weird. She saw that. She turns left to right there. She doesn't detect the necklace being gone, she just sees me, that's what she's doing. the newspaper in peace. Can I do that, please? Too much to ask. So if we read the newspaper while standing and then crouch, we can't read it anymore. Yeah, 
You go, you go out. What is... Can I see something? Oh my goodness. He just goes in and out the door 50 times. Well, I want to knock you out too then. There. Can we now read the newspaper, people? Are we okay here? Good. The City Tribune, 14th Orient's Anno 831. So it seems like uh, the story here takes place before, obviously, uh, but a year or the year before bad debts and disorientation. I think that was 832. And then the events in Thief 1 or, or Gold is 833, I believe. Or no, I correct myself there. It's actually in year 33. I believe Skaki told me this. Um, but Milan added 800 to give it a century as well. I'm not sure if that is something that's going to be continued in the Black Parade. But anyway, that's sort of the, the world that's been set up here. Anyway, grisly discovery in Downlock. A man killed with several dagger thrusts and bereft of clothing was found in the vicinity of Wainwright Street. It has been reported. No valuables or other items were found. And the identity of the victims is a mystery. Oh my word. Help me. No. Yeah. I, I'll help you. That's what I did. Two local notabilities at the scene. Barrister S.A. Blatt and the armorer A.M. Tomlinson. Aha! We know him from Bad Deaths. Have expressed concern that such events could have transpired in the ward. I trust authorities to patrol the streets and watch for trouble, but in truth, some of the alleys receive no attention whatsoever. My store caters to law-abiding freemen with all manner of weaponry, but there is regrettably little remedy against the well-planned ambush. If the watch is not present, remarked Tomlinson. Uh, a typical lower-class crime undertaken with beastly crudeness, noted Blatt. My clients have often remarked on the vicissitudes of living close to men who are little more than brigands or knaves, and this murder. So soon after the series of thefts in Upper Market Side, it's just further proof that their fears are entirely justified. Azem Larg, appointed judge, hey, 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 we know her. Concluding the three-month debate on the appointment to the Dark Smoke Court, the Lady Azamlarg, a fine upbringing and distinction, has been named High Judge. Uh, countering speculations that a woman might be soft on crime, the initial session held at the second toll of the twelfth brought the death penalty to one Jerome Say, named the Penny King, for his band of pickpockets. Um, does this have any reference, the Penny King, to... Uh, the dark mod series Penny Dreadful. I know Milan has had um, his hand on that campaign as well. I think there's three missions there. I'm not sure. I haven't played them. But let me know if it is a reference to it, and let me know if you recommend me playing those missions. Those are, you know, a few that I've looked for, maybe playing in the near future. Jerome, who had pleaded his innocence to the bitter end, was convicted on a detailed and accurate recount of his crimes that impressed the attending jurists. The man was delivered under guard to Widow's Way, and there hanged by the neck till dead. Rumpleball, Dark Smoke, Lower Locks, 3-2. North Quarter, Greenholm, 0-0, rematch next week. Second Hurlsman, Thibault, received third penalty, receives third penalty in a month. Removed from rankings amid street protest. Details when available. Awesome. <coughs> you gonna head back out, buddy? You are. Well, that suits me just fine. leave. So the kitchen in there downstairs has nothing of value and all there is is a door to the stairs that lead down to the basement where the locked door is.
Hey. Check again. Now we have to drop to the street level here. How do we do that? Without taking damage and without being seen here. There's another guard. So we can do that without taking damage, but he heard it, so we're gonna have to wait here a little bit. What? here. Okay. So, this door here is the door that you can see just east of the southeast part of Bronet's mansion. Um, again, I, I don't like that I can't point, but that leads into the cloister courtyard, actually. So we are going to go there. We're first going to hit a uh, guard station, once this guard leaves, that is just north of this, close to a gate that we can't open. Work in the late shift. The guard comes here. Right. Give, give, generously, uh, generously for the builder's plan. Okay. So that is the donation box to the builders, and we're actually going to place the hastily written note there. That will check off our objective. And we've already reached 1,500 loot. But the bonus objective you can do by dropping that off. Similar to the objectives in Bad Dance. So the storehouse in the far northeast, we're going to hit from two different angles. We're going to get our main objective um, in the basement in one way. Then we're gonna hit the rest of the mansion or the building a little bit differently. Let's see. Okay, north quarter. Alright, we're gonna, gonna mantle up here. up there. Worth 50 total, 1665. That was the last piece of loot I found in the mission. I found all the loot, I think, except for that. And then I went back and checked the city a little bit more and found it. So there isn't any kind of crazily hidden loot in this mission. So we're going to head into this guard station here. So this gate is not possible to open. Uh, but if you get beyond it, that will complete the objective of leading the town. What made that sound? So since AI hearing and vision is cranked up to max, then they hear things so far away here. And you cannot cushion the drop in any way in dark mod. Except for the moss arrow. Okay. In here, 
There is a flash bomb. Just some other odds and ends. And um, a chest. This we're going to have to pick open too. Because that has a readable. Quite a few lockpicks in this mission. Chalice. Total 1785. Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Let's read this. Um, the Footman's Almanac of Arms and Armor by Ernest uh, Ernesto G. Standard pole arms. Uh, Bardich, Beck de Corbea, Bill Billhook, Bill Guizarm, uh, Chav Sori, these sound like French terms. Chateau, no, Couteau de, de Breche. Earspoon, um, Bethian or Bothian. Fourchard, Fourchard Fork. Fork, military. Glaive, Glaive Gizarm. Gizarm, Gizarm Vulge. Hal, Halbert, Hammer Lucerne. Uh, partisan, Pike All, Ranseur. Uh, Speedum or Spedum, I'm not sure what that is. Vulge. Albeit often regarded with some contempt by the dedicated pole armor enthusiast. So that's the one that's marked in with uh, a one there. The humble Beck de Corbin is most uh, uh, efficacious when wielded against plate armor. These subtypes represent transitory forms, not clearly classifiable as either morphological archetype. Um, while the naming conventions are highly variable, it is imperative that the subtypes be kept precisely and accurately de delineated. The noble glaive gizarm archetype is a veritable treasure trove of further morphological variety. These variations and accompanying diagrams are listed in Appendix 3. Often mistaken for a blunt instrument, the gentle reader is nevertheless instructed to keep in mind that Lucerne, Lucerne hammers are in fact part of the polearm class and not just subject to the customary uh, ecclesiarchic limitations. Polearms are the most unusual nature. The gentle reader is it with it is with no small amount of pride that I bring to you this part of my humble treatise. Oh, sorry, I'm used to pressing escape when you have read something. Alrighty, then we know a little bit more about pole arms, which is nice, I guess. Hastily written note we're now going to leave here in the box, but we can't do that with a guard looking at us. That was bad timing. Having a good night. That checks off the last objective there. Throw the bird or throw the builders off my trail by having them go look for Lord Sykes instead. <coughs> Okay, good. Now that guy went out the door, so we can follow him. We can actually do that by mantling up here. see anything. He said something, I couldn't tell. Yeah, he did actually hear me. There's 
There's no way he heard me there. No. Nope. So now we are up on a ledge um, uh, just northeast of the Shantry. We are now in that courtyard area, sort of a hidden little alley here. And now you can see the guard that I showed you from the gargoyle ledge earlier. We actually have to wait for him to go over towards us and then turn around and go back before we can go there. And... Um, from a distance there. There's just so much detail that you can pack into a mission in Dark Mod. It's just fantastic. So obviously a lot more heavy on the hardware requirement, but... remember 100%, but there's a trick you can do here. If you stand here, because when he opens the door, he'll block the lamp, or the... He'll block the, block the lantern. So I'm not sure if that means we can hide here. I'll try, but now I don't have enough time to go over there before he comes out, so we'll see. Waiting a long time for this guy. Something moved. I didn't know he actually sat down there, but you can walk around in circles. something over there. See, when you reload from a lit-up position...
then you actually stay lit up for a little bit. All we're doing here is taking the loot. Can't read anything here. That dousing a torch, and obviously that's out of the question. But as soon as he heads that way, we can actually we can actually drop down here. I've done that before without taking damage. can do that without taking damage. Yeah, he, he hears you if... damage there, but you can slide off the roof there. Okay, now we're in this little hidden courtyard, totally safe here. There is a statue, sort of half, half buried in the sand. Nothing else here. Uh, you can head up here, and then you see uh, some skeletal remains in a cage there, sort of a torture chamber. Um, but under here, there's a hidden section. If you go down here, I think actually that is the other exit, the other way out. So if you end the mission here, that's uh, possible to do. There's a hidden area. And here we're going to go. We can take a back entrance. This is pickable. To um, the storeroom's basement, actually. Oops. We do have to move this thing. I have to put this back later, but we can do that. get into sort of the vault area of the actual storeroom. So here's a lock that doesn't seem to throb, a couple padlocks on it. Uh, here's a weird thing. And uh, in the wine rack here you have, I think, two wine bottles. This is a pickable door that leads out to the hallway in the basement. We're not going to need to pick that. So I'm not going to do that. And then there are a couple of readables here as well. Let me check. I didn't check my stealth score here for a while. We're good. Okay. Instructions. Said Father Giov that the explosive material, which will prove most valuable in the demolition of the accursed church of the pagan heretics by blasting it from brick to brick, is to be sealed in the special storage chamber. The following three notes must be kept on record by order of our benevolent father. Item. Father Giov has taken the two keys, and until he relinquishes them, none may retrieve this lump of substance from his cage. Item, as it has been told by the master forger who fashioned the explosive, a special treatment procedure must be undertaken to turn it from inert junk into something most volatile. That is, the substance must be taken and submerged in a mirac miraculous liquid in full, of which a container has been provided to our cloister. 
item. Take thou care that the liquid um, that the liquid doth not escape its confining that. Here it eat man and stone alike, as man eateth breath and mut bread and mutton. So that must be the liquid over there then. So in here we can see that the lump uh, that can turn volatile then is is found there. Here's a readable uh, a note. Explosives, inert until treated, do not submerge, desiccate, or expose to miasmatic environments. Content sufficient for 12 mines or two explosive charges. Interesting. Uh, so I'm going to put this back in there. Uh, let's see how we can do that. There we go. There. Difficult to maybe. Back there. Now, uh, we cannot find the keys for those padlocks that the father has. So, this is actually an object manipulation exercise where you can see there's a hole at the top. And we can actually move it out of there. So, then bring it over here, submerge it fully, and then grab it again, and now it's become treated explosives. And that checks off the main objective in the top. So now we have everything we need, essentially, and uh, we can just leave. We are going to leave this way. this bag of whatever it is. Okay. There. Can't lock this, but that's okay. And now, we just have to hit the top of the storeroom, or the storehouse. coming out, okay. <laughs> Something doth indeed move, yes. Okay, let's wait for you to leave then. I think the guy above there too heard us. Not sure where he is, but they hear us. So it's so impossible to make. Hear me through the walls here. That's how. Now I bump my head into the. It's it's. There's small things like this that is almost impossible to do in the dark mod. I don't like it. So 
this is then the cloister. We can't get in there, but it's pretty to look at from the outside. Okay. Now, before we go into the storehouse, we go up somewhere else. Again, from Thief, I'm used to when you mantle that you stand up, whether you were crouched or not when you started to climb something. But okay, we have to head up into the clock tower here. I want to do that a little bit quickly before that. guy comes back here. There. It did not see me there. I love this place. I love the clock tower. Probably my favorite little spot. Just a lot of detail of the ticking sound and all that stuff. Just looks like somebody loves to, to live here. Okay, for us, really the only um, interesting thing is the chalice up here, worth 120, total 2105. Um, in here is a mine, I believe. That's a mine. Then there's a health potion up there, and a couple of readables. Um, Considered that the grave uh, eventualities against which various and sundry warnings have been disclosed in the, um, the font here is a little bit weird. Um, is that canonics, lenonics, as well as the lesser almanac, are um, I can't really read that word. Anarthema, is that what it says? To the pious and vigilant, it must be clear that these uh, incitements against the Lord Builder's works must belong not to the profane, but to the unhallowed. That, having gorged themselves on their wealth, they should turn to rotten decay as proof that sloth invites other sins, and spoiled food invites worms and maggots. That, vis-a-vis -vis the lords of old, who were leaders of men, as they were true servants of the Lord Builder, these lords of today boast of serving, none but unwittingly, to the work of the adversary, is the ultimate consequence of neglection. Does not the Almighty Builder warn uh, of rotted beam and false mortar? Such are the found, uh, foundings of our once great city, the very stones infused with sin, and the exhalations of the wicked. Brother uh, Theodore, I turn to thine wisdom in a matter that may be not for Father Giov's attention. Our brother um, Odo, is that it? Odo, who hath uh, ever been a di diligent man and a pious servant of the Lord, seems burdened by troubles as of late. I spy him uh, but rarely in our cloister, but more oft pacing the streets uh, in pursuit of the thief who had robbed us a fortnight ago. Just last eve, he got into a scuffle with uh, Halsey, the guard at Master Sykes. Sykes Place. If he suspects the old viper, why doth he not call us, his brothers, with the suspicions? Why doth he um, prowl like a thief and excuse himself from his toils? I asked him to share his burden so that two might better lift it, but he uh, dismissed me outright. Perhaps if thou could talk uh, sense to him and discover uh, the true source of his discontent, we might come to his aid. But if he speaks not, he must shirk his task no longer. Uh, Brother Marcel. Interesting. Good. So 
now we're in the storehouse. That's the last place we need to be. And in the attic, there is a uh, chest. And we can pick and get a statue. Total 2205. And then in here, bottle and a cup under a basket of sorts total 2270 okay we're gonna head all the way down to the basement this window is where we're gonna end the mission guard that comes upstairs and he sits on a bench in there for a while. Okay, so we're going to head down to the basement right now. There's nothing in these rooms. here. There's a vase up there. Three seventy. Those were worth fifty each. He did hear us there without saying anything. Oh! I did not know that I got spotted here. I wonder where we got spotted, really. Piece of loot that we need down here. Kellet, Cadge, Alms Taker, 7 coins from Donation Box, 30 lashes in Factory Work. Vissen, Wine Cellar, Boisterous Behavior, 5 lashes released. Latrum, Vagrant, Heckling and Impiety, 10 lashes per day. Incarceration, 3 days. Bins, Vagrant, Telltale released. I thought I did Johannes, Armai, Thou shalt bleed. Armiger. Is that you? Boisterous behavior on indecencies. Indecency. Seven lashes released. Note: three bottles, good wine to Messer Vitus to smoothen his disposition. 
Bromley, Usurer. Coin Clipper, Shorn and Hands, Scalded. Transferred to Main Penitentiary. Leadenhall, Vagrant. Impiety in Possessions of Pagan Nature. The Rack, transferred to Main Penitentiary for his punishments. Mentions of Rose Garden. Randall, Carpenter, five gemstones from the cloister while working on scaffolding of Old Chantry. Three recovered, died beneath righteous punishment in cell before revealing hiding place of other two. Note, dispatch all able brothers to scour area. So those are the two that we found. So Randall is then uh, in the cell here, uh, dead. Walworth, proprietor, ward, thieves pawn and runner, five men in rented apartments. The rack, transferred to main penitentiary for his punishment. Okay. So this is the entrance to the vault where we were. Let me go in. Pick the lock on the cell door here. So this is then Randall, I guess. And here is his notes. Um, I, Randall, carpenter of much ability and thief of much less. Hereby state in my f uh, final uh, hour that I repent and make this testimony. O Lord Builder, look thee upon thy servant who hath been uh, underpaid and suffered so much uh, misery from the sanctimonious uh, bribe bodies? Bri briar bodies? No, I can't really read that. Uh, did lift no more than any other, whether they be um, lord or knave. Uh, grant thee him your mercy, for he hath stolen what others merely take away, and stole not uh, enough to be inviolate from punishment. Um, item, here do I write with my own hand that by this same testament I bequeath what I have left to the wild winds honest thieves and food companions in my daily work. As for the Lord Builder's brave followers, I, I leave that which, with, that which they will surely value more than they would any uh, worldly foods. My blessings and prayers for the salvation of their souls. Amen. That's probably about the, the best... Is that you? The best last letter I've ever ever heard. <coughs> okay, so we have 2370, that's what we should have now. There is a guard. He's the one that comes upstairs. It's perfect that he leaves now. If he does. <coughs> okay, I'm not sure why he didn't come out there, but... I opened the door, but he didn't alert to it, so we're fine. Head up here now. There is a guard in here too, right there. Four goblets and a plate here. actually climb up a little bit before climbing back down. Let's see. Don't 
got into something. Oh, that was poor timing. But actually... Quite ingenious if we can... Builder, bless my hands and my tools, that I might do great works in thy name and for thy glory. Amen. Gold candlestick there, total 2530. Candlestick there, 2580. That's max loot for the mission. Let's check our stealth score. Excellent. I'm gonna a couple more readables before I'm down here. I Let's... shall return thee to dust. Okay, I didn't know he'd call me. My brothers, this way to the main cloister shall be closed and bolted from the other side, as the Venerable Father has ordered. Guard thyselves well from sundown to sunrise, ere the accursed heretic return to wreak further havoc on us. One brother should check the attic with regularity, as it has been I found that a clever head. miscreant might enter and even escape through the window. Hmm. Overlooking the alleyway hammer. leading I north, brother Tellus. This leads out to the courtyard, then. Where the clock tower is right up here. Okay, we are interrupting their privacy, I guess. <clears throat> so one more readable, and that's in here, and it's a little bit difficult to read without getting caught by this guy. Does something stir? I don't really know how I'm going to do that, but I want to read this last thing for you guys. Do I see? I got attached to the ladder. It's just so typical. I don't know if there's a touch ladder. Does something move? <laughs> Wasn't fast enough there. You know what? Let's make a real save here. And then we can save here. I want to knock this guy out. I can't stand this guy right now. Because he alerted to me or something, I'm not sure. Do I see? Doth something still <gasps> there? Finally. Do I see? And now With this guy and is, and now the other guy is coming in too. Okay. <sighs> Can I try to read this without him That's seeing me? No, that I cannot do. Goodness. Do I have anything that I can use against them? Explosives? Oh, I have a flash bomb. A sound? I shall return to the... Ha! Fire and forge doth guide me. I cannot see. What? No, nope, that doesn't work. Okay. All right. 
It's just so ridiculous that I can't blackjack this guy with any kind of predictability here. Ah! Okay, 14th of Orients. Um, Morn's Day. I, Brother Cudgel, three spools copper wiring in. Two, uh, or oh, it's one, two. Brother Cudgel, four measures, uh, Amberglin out. Three, Father Giyav, morning inspection. Four, Brother um, Kazagave. Uh, four, Straw Bales in. Brother uh, Kaza gave three uh, bales wool in. Brother Kaza gave small barrel of ale in. So this is a ledger then of what's happening or activity log. Brother Kajal uh, reporting the all clear. Father Giov and Brother uh, Lansdale uh, noon inspection. Father Giov six candles out. Brother Marcel meal delivery. Bill to be praised. <laughs> Brother Lansdale, uh, straw bale out. Uh, reek of liquor. Brother Cudgel, uh, request for rope arrows. Where are they? Father Giov, afternoon inspection. Brother Marcel, small barrel of ale in. Brother Marcel, uh, compendium of major sermons out. Brother Theodore, uh, what does that say? Stargazing. Uh, Brother Cudgel, supper delivery. Brother Marcel, um, cellar duty. Father Giov, evening inspection. Okay, then we got that. That was more trouble than it was worth, really. And now all we have to do is leave the mission. End the mission. There is a guy up here now that we have to dodge. Someone comes. Oh. <laughs> Is he going to be stationed up there now forever? That's something over there. Okay, well, let's see. Can I come down anytime soon? Hopefully, he doesn't see us here. Hmm? Oh, he did. So we, they can't even bump into you an iota in in the dark mod. It's like so, so finicky. Hmm? Yeah, we get an alert there no matter what. I think. Might be safe, I'm not sure. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Intruder! We're not going to be able to do this now. We have to actually go back down and wait for him to come. <laughs> ay, 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 ay.
there, finally. Okay, now we can go down here. I think we can actually climb this. There. And here we can end the mission. Alright, cool. So that was a successful, perfect supreme ghost of Talbot 2 Return to the City. Uh, we didn't deal any damage or receive any. We didn't take any health. We didn't pick any pockets. No, no pockets actually in this mission, which is a little strange. Uh, 2580 out of 2580. Nobody killed or KO'd. No bodies found, of course. Time uh, 58 or 3, and time saved uh, 1 or 3. Uh, zeros all across the board for the stealth score. I really like this mission. It's typical Milan. Um, you know, vertical. Uh, a lot of hidden stuff and a lot of good readables. That's usually what he has in his missions. There's a lot of great uh, story-driven readables. This mission isn't too big. I haven't played Talbot 3 yet, but that will be the next uh, Dark Mod mission. Fiasco at Farshard Street. Um, but I won't do that right away. I'll probably do a couple of Thief, thief missions first. And uh, the next one is actually going to be um, Keeper of the Prophecies. I'm going to start that campaign. I mentioned that there was a campaign I was going to start. So that's um, the first mission there is actually, it, it's called the Enterprise. And it's it's two missions, but the first one is nothing. It's, you know, two minutes. So the, 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 the mission is called the Enterprise. That's the main mission. So that's from 2000, I think it was released in for Thief 1 first. So the one I'm going to play is, of course, part of the full campaign. So, yeah, if you guys want to play ahead, you can you can go for that one next. So the Enterprise is um, coming up. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to return to the Dark Mod. That might not be right away. Um, so we'll see. Um, always give me your suggestions if you have any. Okay, uh, with that, have a good night. Bye-bye.